Hello, Acron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with another stream, another FP VOD. It's gonna be myself versus Nagel on K4 Shrine. We're just waiting for Nagel right now. And, oh, i just waiting for Nagel right now. And once he gets here, we'll be able to start up. So, K4 Shrine is a four player map that I made a while ago. It's one of the maps that we haven't actually played a lot in a while since for a while four player maps seemed like they were kind of broken economy wise. But I was playing earlier against Chrono Aberrant on them and it seemed to work out okay. So at the very least, at a, outside of the highest level of skill, it doesn't seem to be totally broken. We'll figure out this game, maybe it'll turn out to be broken, I'm not sure, but for now I'm just going to assume it isn't. And we'll be getting this game started very shortly. So just exchanging our good luck, have funds and everything, and then we can go. So I'll explain more about the map once we actually get into the game. But it is a four-player map. It has diagonal star positions, so the distances are fairly large. It's not especially large. Actually, maintain your transfer is slightly bigger than it, even though it is a two-player map, due to some experiments we were doing earlier on. And so we get this started. Waiting for Nagel and Cronabrin to load. Cronabrin being the observer in this case. And Nagel has joined, so just waiting for Cronabrin. And once he is in, we can start. Uh, okay, apparently he got disconnected. I'm not sure what happened there. So let's start all over again. One sec. Sorry about that, people. I'll just get this started in a second. So. I guess Crown will just be watching the stream while Nagel and I play. So, game back up, and then we can go. So yeah, as I was saying, K4 Shrine is a four-player map with diagonal star position, so it's decently long rush distance. It's not going to be very easy to deal much damage. Also, the ground and air rush distance is pretty much the same, so I don't see much of an advantage to people going for air rushes over ground rushes. Which some maps do have this advantage, where you have different block costs. Actually, I'm going to go over the map right now. So, this map, like I said, the main base has five LC crates, three GB crates. This is not the Cold Forge style. There is going to be an update pretty soon for the Cold Forge style. I'm going to play CISO as well, since Nagel has not played in a while, and I don't want to be too cruel to him. Actually, come to think of it, that would be being too cruel to him. Let's go with Grekum instead. So get my Faro up, get these guys building, and then we can go. And you go here. And you go to the crates. For goodness sakes. Right, so now these guys are up, I can start getting my little RPs built. Because of course Grekin uses their Octos to build RPs. And they have a nice handy dandy convenient little control to tell the Octo to simply build the RP once it's done. So my basic RPs, the first six RPs are now built. And I'm just gonna wait a bit for that to go on. Not sure what Nagel is doing or what he is playing. He is probably playing Vekir. He was in our previous game that we played earlier today. And I'm not sure where he is now, so back to where I was. So once once I actually spot him or hear him, then we should be able to get this. Oh, I have enough resources for more RPs. Then we should be able to really get this game going. So like I said, this map has main bases on all the corners. It has Quite a few expansions in the center as well, and in the very center of the map. Then that's really about it. There isn't, there aren't any hidden expansions or weird esoteric things going on. It's a very simple, straightforward map. So nothing too fancy, just basic resources, position, and build space. Although the build space is a little bit awkward. It, the main bases are kind of small. The expansions are. A little, they depend. I mean, obviously, you see here this big strip of buildable space right here as opposed to having any circular main area. But it seems to work out okay. And I'm just gonna get my Seppi and Faro for the reef and eventually Spire. And once that's built, we'll be able to build those up. 
getting another Octorp because, of course, actually, kind of think of it, you should, when you're ready, go, I'm just going to put him on hockey for a second, because I actually want you to go over to QPs, because I need more QPRPs, I will be needing more QPRPs once we, oh, that's not a, that's not a reef, that's a mound, I hit the wrong hockey, okay, that's a reef, that was a bit of a silly mistake, Getting another Faro here for defense. I really don't know what. Actually, get an Octo as well for scouting, because, like I said, I don't know what my opponent is up to, and it's really rather annoying not knowing this. You go out, because I think he's over there, and you follow him, because I honestly don't know what. No, oh, right. You, Articus, tell them to go out over there. And you stay over here, so they need to get advanced structures to build my spire and get air units. Well, to be honest, Grekum actually. Their ground isn't too bad. So there's really no pressing reason to get a spire, I just... It's nice to have. It's sort of a... it's a security spire. Makes me feel better. Makes me sleep better at night. Oh, and you guys go over here. Here we go. Get the spire built up. And I have enough QP to actually build stuff. Awesome. Get a Sepipod. Sepipod's quite fast units, good scouts. Fairly quick at getting around the map. And, of course kill air units in case he's going for it, but he's playing Vector, so... Oh, there he is. Okay, so I did find him. Which also means that I went in the wrong direction with these two. Where are you? You over here. Let's jump back about a minute or so and tell you to go north. You do not go west. You don't need to go west. Go north. Yeah, that's when I had my sepia pot. And now I'm being attacked in the past. Oh, there's a Tethbeer. Just a Tethbeer, not a Tethbeer and Shinbeer combo, which a lot of players do. And... Actually, I'm just waiting for the hammer to drop. I mean, at some point, Nagel's going to realize, hey, I should move past the Arcticus. Mm, that's not going to be fun. I may indeed need to make this Arcticus go past. And yep, there he is. There's the Teth Beer walking right past the Arcticus, not caring at all. And going for the RPs. Well, the Faro at least can defend. Teth Beers are anti-air units. They aren't anti-ground units. They have... Okay, anti ground capability, but it's not that great. It's not going to be anything comparable to what the Faro can do. Faro should be able to take care of it in no time, and yet we are good. So, wait, no, 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 you you stay over here. You help defend. I don't want to lose my RPs. That'd be so embarrassing to lose them to a Teth Beer. Sheesh. Scared me there. Anyway, back to when I was. Actually, no, I'm concerned about that Faro. I can't remember which one I told to build the Spire ultim ultimately. That was that was this one. That was the new one. Okay, so the one that defended is still going to defend, and the one that built the Spire is still going to build the Spire. So back to the 440 mark. Sorry, my viewers, about the frequent time changes. I just need to double check that. And. Oh, there's the Shin Beer. Looks like he's trying to build up. Oh, it's not Shin Beer, it's Design Beer. Sorry, he's crawling to victory. Okay, Proxy Depot. Do not want to see that. That is a surprise, but it will die. I hope. I will attempt to kill it. Wish me luck. Or or don't. You can root for Nagel too. I don't mind. There we go. Got enough for an Octopod. Do I... No, he's not actually building anything out of here yet. But he may. I don't know. He's behind me. He might. He just might. And actually, Fargo over here. You know, the Faro's getting its spire up. That already happened. We're at the 440 mark once again. Since I put a convenient bookmark there. And that's a little bit before we found the depot. Actually, I'm honestly... Okay, that's what I was worried about. There's the Zion Pulsers. That's that's really nice. Oh, but, hey, Zion Pulsers here. So Zion Bureau will pop out and... Run away. Ah, but not get into the depot. Oh, you might get into the depot. Once again, Nagel's behind me. And, of course, the Zion Pulsar getting towards my base. That's not good. This is at the 440 mark once again, because Nagel is really liking to change the past. I'm going to jump back to the 352 mark, where I'm pretty sure Nagel is, once again, pulling more shenanigans. going to move my Faro up even sooner, because I don't know when he's actually... Actually, you know what? Move my Octo... Bring my Octo around to flank. Ah, uh, there's the Zion Beers that built up the Zion Pulsars. Wait, then where's the Shin Beer... Where's the Shin Beer that built this? Oh, and a Teth Pulsar, but that's not going to be of much use. But seriously, where's the Shinbeer that built this? I'm I'm getting concerned. Because the Shinbeer built this, and I can't see it anywhere. It, I don't know where it is. Obviously, I'm not looking by... I'm not going to find out in my main base. I realize that. I just... 
Okay, you don't do what you're normally doing. You patrol around, because I have a suspicion, sneaking suspicion that Nagel is trying to build foundations around the map to mess with me. Okay, where's my... Ah, there's the octopods. Alright. So it's one octopod now. You get another one. Octopods are quite good at dealing with Zion Pulsar, surprisingly. They can actually kill a Zion Pulsar one-on-one. -on -one. So that... Ah, there we go. So the Octo is taking care of the depot, or at least starting to. It doesn't deal a huge amount of damage. But yes, like I said, Octopods can take out Zion Pulsar's one-on-one, -on -one, and at this point, I will be able to defend them. Unless Nagel does something else, which I think he might. He might have changed something else, but I don't know. Ah, what? Oh, actually, I think... Let's just double-check the past here. He's building more... He's... No, he, he lost one of his Zion Pulse. He had a Zion Veer, though, just hanging out here. That wasn't doing... Yeah, the Zion Veer right here. Just hanging out here, not being a vehicle. So... Doesn't look like I actually made a Zion Veer not be a vehicle. Oh, there it is. Ah, it wasn't me, that's why. <laughs> I barely did anything. He, he destroyed his own Zion Pulsar. Didn't want it anymore. Actually, come to think of it. You two just automatically... Just go out now and start attacking. So I don't have to deal with your delay. Although it didn't help. Okay, now Nagel's running away with his forces. Best idea, Vecker vehicles are quite expensive, and leaving them to die is a terrible idea. You never want to do that. Okay, so nothing in the northwest base. He still got that proxy built up, the Zion Veer's going down, and there's a Zion Pulsar, like I said, Octopods will be able to deal with it, no problem. Especially two of them having an advantage there. I'm just gonna get another Sepipod and get myself actually I really should get an expansion. I really should have gone an expansion a while ago. Where? Oh, there's my octopod. And I want, when I say they can deal with it one on one, I mean it's it's a close fight. It's not like it's something. Oops. They aren't going to be dealing with it as easily as my, one might necessarily like, but they will be able to deal with it nonetheless. Actually, no, don't go this way. Don't go this way. Anything but going that way. Go regenerate to the south. I don't need you there. I don't need you to just walk to your death. And might as well get another reef, because if he goes for any harassment, I'm going to regret it if I don't have a reef to help heal up my forces, get everything going, and another Octo. Oh, you're stuck. There we go. There. Okay, so the Octo should be able to escape now. And you three go up here, and then progenerate when you're done. And you, I want you to continue destroying the proxy depot. So the proxy depot may be destroyed. Jumping back to the 750 mark. Oh no, it's not destroyed. He's building a foundation around it. So it'll be a bit harder to kill than I had expected. And you're not there yet. A second reef is being built up. That's what's building up my triad. Actually, let's think of it. Let's build a firepot. I have the money for it. I could use it. Oh, whoops, no. You... No. You go over there, build another duo. You are duo number six. And you build more RPs. You get me some more money. Buy me some more money! Oh, wait, I didn't want to reference that. I do, however, want to destroy this depot once again. Why am I announcing I have a power pod? I am still announcing I have a power pod. Let's go around. Kill stuff on the other side. Oh, oh, well, I guess he already... He already anticipated the existence of my Pharopod. So, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to just set myself up in a situation where I can get Lego class. Because there's a really nice trick, and I hope Nagel isn't watching the stream, because he's going to ruin it. There's a really nice trick on this map. There's little cr there's little nooks here, right right here. And right here. There's little nooks and crannies that you can throw your units down into. Put them in regeneration mode. And just plop down units, get an Octoligo, have it split down. It's a bit of a lengthy process, but if it works, it means I have, I can have Lego class units coming from behind. Or she just an Octopod, and then from there build fire. Yeah, I could just do that right now. So you build up here. Oh, this is kind of risky, but it might just work. Oh no, I do need the Octoligo. Never mind. That's right. I need the Octoligo first because I need to get my Sepi and Faro. I need to get the Spire from the Faro particularly. And then I need you to build up, and you here to build up, and you to... Oh, you're too far away. You to build up, 
And, okay, so around here I'm actually secure right now, but let's just double check. 923 mark, and I've been spotted. Okay, one of my stuff's been spotted. The actual strategy I had going with the Varapods has not been spotted yet, but I don't know if it's going to survive that long, to be honest. See, it's taking a fair amount of damage. It's running past... Actually, I think I may have announced my strategy. I'm guessing he's going to actually try to intercept that completely. Oh, hey, speaking of interceptors... Crap, 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 crap. Why am I building Octos? I need Seppies. I need Seppies quick. I Very, very quick. And you are already building stuff, so I don't need to worry about you. No, shit. By the way, ah, crap! I need this everybody alive. Oh, great! So much for alive. Actually, you over here. Oh, hey, this everybody's alive. So it'll now be able to go off and progenerate the Leo class behind his base. Seriously, this tactic has won me games. And once that's done, let's see where are we? Ah, you were dead. You had lost your Faro. But no matter, because that's not the really important trad. That was actually kind of a decoy. The important trad was over here. Oh, and my Seppi... Oh, my Seppi Pod... Oh, hey, you might be able to kill a Shinterter. You did kill a Shinterter. Well done, Seppi Pod. I approve your existence. You may continue. Oh, Deligo being built. Put that in a hockey. So don't, remember, don't forget about it. And Oh, hey, here's the... I'm going to move things along. You go into progen mode, because I need you to go into progen mode to actually be useful. You build me more RPs, and... I can like a gate tech pretty soon. I almost should, but not quite. It's a little bit too soon for that. Let's see, you go over here, and you... You can build an RP, you... Oh, it's right next to the border of the map. Alright, you can't morph there. What? And morph where you are. Sheesh. No imagination whatsoever. You are sentient, right? I mean, I know you're a hive mind of some sort, but still. Since when's that an excuse? Actually, I just realized it was kind of dumb. I should, I should have made that octopod a while ago. Now I'll split you guys down. Let's see, so I have Tet is attacking my south secondary, which isn't, like I said, is kind of a decoy base, not really that useful, but it's a nice little distraction. Okay, and... Wait, was this... Oh, this Octopod... Wow, this Octopod has been around for a while. That was actually a total waste. In fact, I could... Make the Oct... Yeah, I could make that Octoligo right... Or Octopod right at the 12-minute mark. And then... Yeah, from the 12-minute mark, I can go through and... Uh, okay, yeah, this is the Ted Thurchers. I don't really care about you Ted Thurchers. You guys suck. Actually, no, they don't. The Ted Thurchers are quite useful units. But you guys suck because you're hurting my stuff. And now we get to... Being out of LC. Crap, that was actually... Uh, there's another Octopod. I don't need that Octopod, actually. If you wouldn't mind, stop building units. In fact, stop building units a while ago. Why do I have multiple Octopods? Oh. Okay, so I cannot... Oh, I might be able to... Stop! Ha! Did not build the unit, because I can now build Far Leagues and Sepi Leagues. However, I think my gamble may not have paid- Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, huh. My gamble may not have paid- Oh, hey, it did pay off. Awesome, because of course, units being produced can still detect cloak units. Ah, <sighs> that was a relief. Okay. Regardless, I'm not in a great spot. I really don't like the position I'm in right now. Admittedly, like I said, my non-decoy base is still in good condition. But that doesn't make me happy. That- Let's see here. You... what? What? You... you can't? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Whew, can't. <sighs> Actually, you move out of the way. I don't want... I don't want to see this happen again. That was... that was scary. Oh, come on! Oh, actually... no, that's actually valid. I did put that in a bad spot. Okay, you... guys deep progenerate and then move into slightly more convenient positions. And you go over here, and then build me... Oh. Uh, when I say more convenient position, that means one that'll actually allow you to build stuff. Like here. All right. There we go. There we go, that'll work. So now I can build more Sippy Legos, 
From behind. Oh, great. Yeah, from behind is not going to help me much when he has a slip gate. I probably should have made gate tech. Oh, and you're over here. Why are you over here? Use every blood. Go over here. Actually, you know, protect my protect my real base. How about that? How about we make sure that my real base doesn't die? Especially since I've just lost the Seppi from that base. Alright, well, the only one choice for you. Turn to an Arcticus. Get me back my stuff. Eventually. Of course, Chrono for Departure. Okay, this isn't good. How many Sip Ligos do I have? I have one Sip Ligo, one Far Ligo. And... That's about it. Attack! Might as well. It's giving it away soon, but possibly too soon. But regardless, attack... Oh, crap. You know what would have been good right now? Specials. Specials would have been really awesome right about now. Also, what might have also been awesome, it would have been not using Lego class, now that I think about it. Pod class would have been sufficient. Well, live and learn. Anyway, do I have the chance to actually live through this? I don't know. Let's go back to the unplayable past. Or immutable. Yeah, un unplayable. And no, my fake base is dying sooner than it would have been. My real base, not so much. But my fake base, yes. My real base is also dying pretty quickly. And now my main base is going down. Where's... Oh yeah, and of course my car leave is to leave. Actually, you know what? No, don't... How about you just stay here and don't make that fatal mistake? At the very least. Give me another Sebi Bod, too. And actually, you guys, I don't want you tanking, because that's a Teth Halcyon. He's going to kill you. He's going to kill you very dead. Alright, so main base defended successfully. Expansion not doing well. Doing extremely poorly. Oh, what the? Oh, yeah, right, because he attacked, so actually this isn't a fatal mistake anymore. Huh. Maybe undoing that was a bad choice, then. Oh, well. Let's tell you guys to attack it again. Why they're not attacking the buildings that are actually dealing them damage is beyond me. Come on. Actually, attack... No. There we go, attack the foundation, finally. Attack something useful for once. I can start destroying this base, although I'm still not sure it isn't too I'm pretty sure this is too late. Yeah, this is this is kinda too late for me. Faro, run away! Make an Arcticus! Try to rebuild! Don't die! That last one's the most important part. You have to survive this. Now I do have a lot of resources and I do have a free triad just sitting around here. So I might just be able to survive this, regardless. I have you, and I have Faro Ligo, which well, actually, that's the least useful of the three, because it doesn't give me Faros. It does give me a Seppi Octave Pair, which can make Faros, but it doesn't give me Faros. And Faros are kind of the useful thing around here. I'm not sure that Nagel has realized where I've kept my main little triad, though. Uh, if he does, though, it's going to be problems. It's going to be lots and lots of problems. Can I build stuff up here? I don't know. Back to the 1817 mark. I have lost my Faro Lego. Oh, that sucks. Maybe I should have built specials. I could have frozen up his base. At this point, it probably makes no difference. Oh, actually, it might. I don't know. Let's see here. I have not enough money for specials, and I've just built that Faro pod, so nope. And, of course, the Faro Lego is dead. So, not the best setup, but I have gotten rid of that foundation, and you go kill that slipgate. That slipgate is the bane of my existence. And you go over here. Where did Faro go? Is that a Faro trying to save the day? I guess it failed. I guess it did die. It disobeyed my orders to not die, because I told it not to die, but no, it had to go and die. Death wish. Anyway. Get another step to So I still have that R those RPs, and I'm still concerned about this attacks, but I think... No, these attacks are the ones that I'm well familiar with. So nothing new has happened. Nagel's not actually doing anything to kill what I have yet. But I am still in a bad spot. Very bad spot. 
Oh yeah, right, I have that option, don't I? I don't have that option in a very convenient way. In the chat, they're suggesting that I crate steal. Well, not in the IRC, I should say, not not in the Twitch TV chat. Come on, get over here. Wait, no, don't. Now that I think about it, why would it be failing? It, it might be failing because it might know more than I do. You guys go over there. You find another... You actually... No, you do here. Oh, I okay, just can't do it in the dark. What the... What? Oh, crap. No, it's because I actually split it down, that's why. Ah, <sighs> crap. I mean, a great steel might be useful. I'm... Yeah, I think given the amount of territory I have, compared to the amount of money I have, great steel is probably my best option. No, not split down. Okay, well, I think that's I believe is probably a lost cause. Well, I'll have to work with slip, Split Down then. Build me a Seppi and then make more resource processors, I suppose. Are we dealing with ground units or air units? We are dealing with... No, we're dealing with anti-air. But he's not coming to my cranny. He's not trying to kill me yet. Well, he probably is, but he probably doesn't know if it's here or not. You go over here. I need you to live. And build me... More stuff. Oh, and there's Zion Halcyons. More Halcyons. Not what I want to see. Like I said, where is my... Oh, yeah, I have no money. That's why Crate Steel would be a good idea. And it would. It really would. I just don't have a whole lot of money. I gotta admit, I kind of wasted it. Especially on this... This pair here. That that was a... You guys don't pro-gen mode. Actually, you guys run away. If you can. No, you can't. Okay, you guys fight for... At least trying to damage them a little before you die. And now you're dead. <sighs> Good help's hard to find these days. Maybe if I could raise the dead. Yeah, you know, that's what I should do. I should study necromancy. For cases like this, where my units keep constantly dying. And then just raise them from the dead and have a bunch of skeleton squid. Oh, wait. No, that wouldn't work. So let's have a bunch of floating beaks in that, in that case. Hmm. Should have thought that went through better. Okay, scrap necromancy. Let's see, what else, what other options do I have? Uh, let's see, I have... I'll have time travel. That is an option. That, that's a slightly more viable option, but I don't have the money for it. Hmm. I am out of ideas. Oh. In the chat, preventing them from dying would be helpful. It would be helpful, except for the fact that I wasn't expecting skipping Zion Halcyons. I don't know how to get out of this. Given that the dying is in the unplayable past, I'm not sure what I can do. Oh, wait, why is there a fireboat over here? And not back at home? Or possibly killing the Zion Halcyons? Okay, that was my fault. That, that was my bad. Guess. So you're moving my RPs over down here. Because clearly I'm not getting another Seppi Ligo for the rest of the game. Be lucky if I survive for the next five minutes. Oh, yeah, there's a great spot to move them to. See, this is why I wasn't moving my RPs, because no matter where I move them to, they're going to die. Even if I keep them at home, they're going to die. Where'd my Farapod go? Ah, there's my Farapod. It's now in the... Where is it? Oh, it's harassing that. Yeah, this isn't good. I do not see a way out of this. I should probably just quit graciously. I don't think this little back door thing is going to be doing me any good. So it was a fun little strategy to try, but did not ultimately amount to anything. Sheesh, Zion Hell seems to have a lot of health. Well, okay, that's that's about it. I can't do much for this. Or well, okay, let's try let's do let's try a last stand, just in case it might just work out. I am doing a fair amount of damage here. Let's see, you connect here and I might be able to... I don't think I'll be able to live through this, but I'll at least be able to tear down a lot of his RPs. No, no. You guys come back to base. Come back to base, get back here, get back here. And I should build more... 
Heal more Octus as well. I might be able to get away with this. And there goes a reef. Thankfully, not one I was using. Except for the heal. Oh crap! That was okay. So forget three octos. That was a waste of cash. And going back. Let's see. I crap. Of course. Okay, plan. Well, I guess it's too late for plan B, mass octopods. Well, plan C is always avoid attacking that south location. Just continue attacking this and then go back home. That seems like a much better plan. Actually, no, this the plan I'm going for now is a good, better plan. Teth Halcyons are hard to get through. Obviously, they're anti-air units, so I can't just get through them without any cost, but still. Come on, go, go. I might be able to put, might be able to put the RPs over. Might be able to have them live. I don't know. And, well, my anti-harassment units are doing a good job. Come on, pod class! Kill those anti-ground units that can't actually hurt you. Well done. Okay, so, now that I actually have a bit of breathing room, let's get myself another duo built up and try to hide it somewhere on the map. Let's see, where can I go? Where can I not die? No, wait. Something's going on here. Oh, I see, it's over in the unplayable... In the... Sorry, in the Fog of Ward area. Hey, I might be able to get rid of this Teth Halcyon. Losing a second spot in the process, though, that won't... Mm, that might be a bad thing. Still, get it out of the way. Nope, you guys go over... Uh, that actually works better. Yeah, that works better. Now you're not in the area that's obviously where you probably would be. Good plan! And you build those RPs. I don't know if he's expecting me to build here. I will find out shortly once he actually tries to kill me. That's usually a good tip-off. But thus far, no attempt to get... Oh, hey, the slip kit's on. Oh, yeah, the slip bot did his job. But there's still a Teth Halcyon in my main base that's causing me a slight bit of concern. Where am I getting this QP from? Oh, right, I built my RPs. They're actually doing stuff. You go kill that, and... We'll try to, we'll try to make you a friend. There we go. You go take care of that Teth Halcyon. Though it does have a lot of health. You might actually not. Oh wait, no, you're near the reef. You'll live. You'll be fine. Here we go. So I'm actually, wow, I'm actually managing to deal some counter harassment damage. I don't intend to. I don't know if I'm gonna win this. I didn't think I'd be winning this. Let's so build not. Okay, clearly. Lego class is not working, or Lego class might be working if it's Octoligos, but clearly flying units are not working for me. So let's get some Octopods up. Get some Octopods on the subject, and get rid of us. Where is Nagel's stuff? This is getting surprising. We're at the 28 minute mark, and, or 29 minute mark, and thus far I've basically not found his stuff. Oh, except that. You just destroy that. Oh wait. That's the first Octo. That means that I haven't built the other Octos yet. Because the other Octos are over here. Right, they were used for defense. Wait a sec. Something's wrong here. Nope, this is the Zion Halcyon that I did destroy. Oh, crap! No, it's not. It's a new Zion Halcyon. It's ruining that expansion attempt. Great. Okay, so this entire bit of damage is going to be completely undone. No Teth Halcyon harassment, and except for what right here, which I'll have to deal with using the Octo here. You get rid of the Teth Halcyon. And, oh, an almost dead Teth Halcyon. That's convenient. That means you have to kill it less. No, actually, it doesn't mean you have to kill it less. Kill it the same amount. Make it dead. Get it out of my way. All right. Well done. Now you become an RP. For your... Valiant performance, you may go stand in a corner forever, getting me money. Actually, I suppose it would be safe to move this out, too. But it could be wrong. Move out. Of course not. Oh, great. This chronoport. Ah, well, I think this is game. Yep, this is game. I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I'm afraid I didn't. A little bit anticlimactic, but that's how it goes sometimes. So, hope you enjoyed that, everyone, and fortunately did not work out with that little thing there on the side. And have a good night, everyone. 
So it goes. 